Hi boys and girls, Mrs. Castle here and we are continuing with our missionary story about Cameron Townsend. Now Cameron is a real person and we are learning about his life serving the Lord. Now do you remember what Cameron was working on last week in our story? He was working on translating the Bible into the Kakuchel language. And he was working on figuring out the words in their language that, so they could understand the Bible. And it took a lot of work. But Cameron, within just one month, was able to translate the book of Mark, which is in the New Testament, the first four chapters into language or words they could understand, that they could speak, and they were so excited. Cameron knew they'd be excited, but he didn't realize how excited they would be. They were singing, and they were laughing and jumping up and down, and one woman said, God speaks Kekuchel! He really does love us! They were so excited. And Cameron was so happy for them too, but he still had a lot of work to be done to translate the New Testament in the Kakuchel language. Cameron realized how important it is because he wants them to understand that Jesus died on the cross to save them, to save them from their sin. And so he kept working on it. And then he learned that there were 200 thousand Kakuchel Indians in a nearby town of San Antonio, Guatemala. And he thought, I'm going to move there. So Cameron, with his wife Elvira, moved to San Antonio, Guatemala, so he could better learn the language there. And his wife Elvira, she spoke Spanish, and she also loved the Indian people. Well, when Cameron got there, he rented uh, some space of land and he built a house. He tied together corn stalks to build a house. And so while he was there, the Kakuchel Indian people would come and visit him and his wife. And um, one day, a man, a visitor, brought a treat for him. And he said, Buenos dias, senor. And that means good day, sir, in Spanish. And he said, I brought you a treat. And Cameron looked at the treat. What do you think it was? It was tadpoles. Cameron looked at it and his stomach felt a little weird. But he thought to himself, eat the tadpoles. This is part of showing that you love them and you care about them. So eat what they eat. So Cameron did. He ate the tadpoles. And his friend said, the visitor said, eat them while they're warm. And so Cameron ate them and he thought, mmm, they're pretty good. And it was a nice change for Cameron because he had been eating only flour tortillas and beans. And Cameron learned to eat what they eat, and he continued uh, to eat ants and worms, things that the people ate, he ate also. Well, they continued to have many visitors come, and Cameron thought, you know, this is good. Now, they talk really fast, so we'd have to watch carefully and watch how they spoke and write it down. And they would come and um, some people would bring their sick babies to Elvira to get medicine that um, she had from a doctor who had sent her medicine. So they continued to study the language Cameron did. And do you know that after one year, two years, three years, four years, he still didn't have the New Testament written in the Kakuchel language. It's a long, hard work. And Cameron realized, you know, I want all people throughout the world who speak the different languages throughout the world to know about God, about how much he loves them and sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for their sin. And Jesus, after he died, came back to life to save them. 
that's such good news. And Cameron wanted all people who spoke different languages and didn't have their language written in the Bible to know about Jesus. And it's a long, hard work to translate other languages into the Bible. So now Cameron kept working on it. Soon, year five came, year six, seven, eight, nine, and still the language in uh, the Bible or the New Testament was not written in the Kakachel language. Finally, after year 10, Cameron finished writing in the Kakuchel language, the New Testament of the Bible. And he presented it to the president of Guatemala, the very first copy of the New Testament <clears throat> in the Kakuchel language. That was such an exciting day. But as Cameron did that, he thought, well, I'm, I'm done with that project. What would the Lord have for me to do as he was burdened for others to know God's word and the good news about his son Jesus in their language. And he heard that in Mexico, which is very close to Guatemala, there were over 50 languages that hadn't been translated into the Bible. There were 50 unwritten languages. So Cameron began to wonder, Lord, do you want me to go to Mexico and begin the work there to translate the word of God, the Bible, in their language, in other languages? Well, do you think Cameron went to Mexico? You'll have to come next week. Come back next week to find out. We'll see you then.